Hi there, welcome back to our channel. We are going IKEA shopping today. It's the 31st of December. Yes. Will this be our last shopping trip of the year? Yeah, maybe. Um, but we're going in, we want to look at some bedroom bits and also some kitchen bits, but we thought we'd take you around for a little look as well. Let us know if you love Ikea too and how far is your nearest Ikea? We're going to the Reading one, which is about half an hour from us. It'll be quick, your battery's flashing. I know, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Yeah, 10 minutes early, but it looks like the cafe's already open. What's and this there? This is the Mustn't stand. forget tea lights. I forgot Don't tea lights last time. Yeah. How can you go to Ikea and not get tea lights? <laughs> Looking at possibly making some plans for the kitchen. Yeah. I really like all the little spaces. in here isn't it love this little space here oh look at the hanging bits this is um you know how when i covered our hallway wall in book pages mm -hmm. it's like that look i like how they've got the pictures there as well on the mantle I do love a Belfast sink, but I don't think it's suited to our house. Do you agree? Depends on the units we get. I love these. I saw these. These remind me of Mickey Mouse marks. <laughs> like hidden Mickeys. Look, they're hidden Mickey bowls as well. I like those. I do too. I don't like the plates so much. No. They're not very Mickey fine. I love things like just like this, just above. Mm. Completely pointless, but looks really nice. <laughs> I do like the idea of having brick exposed on the far wall, mm. but painted in white. Really like that idea. I do really like this crockery set. I keep looking at this. Mugs some bowls are really I know, nice. I really like them. We don't need them. No, no. And the blue doesn't go with us. I do like it. What? No, I'm just looking at the chopping board. I like this. Oh, this is marble, isn't it? You like the chopping board? 275. 275. And I love the little seat. Oh, it's got a little stool underneath. I just saw that. It's a big island. I like the idea of having oil and vinegars out on the side. That sounds so stupid. Uh, I like the green, do you know whose kitchen this reminds me of? The Fletchers, Tom and Giovanni Fletcher. That's a nice green color and they've got the exposed brick on the back wall as well. I like this little cluster as well. It's like a little herb garden. I love the gallery wall here. Have you seen as well, there's a, oh, they've got a dog's name and another little name. That's a really cute idea for a gallery wall, isn't it? This is interesting to see, the kitchens. I don't like sparkly worktops. No, no, no. I like the water. Oh, no, it's a bit dark, this one. Because we obviously still want to have something to sit, don't we? Here we are, look. I really like the idea of having those simple drapes there to almost separate it from the area behind. You think so? Yeah. Just makes it tidy. I love this as well. I remember seeing this before, having the ribbons, hanging photos. Mm. I really like that. That looks nice. Mm. These look nice. I like these. Yeah. They're very plastic. Like those. Mm. 
We've remembered them. I have bought candles from Ikea before, but I've been really disappointed with them. They've got a really terrible throw. I like this, £1.50. There's a larger one as well for £4. Everyone always asks about my little tea tray and it looks like they've got loads of them in now. And by the way, if you'd like to see the video where I did my tea stand and turned it into like a coffee and hot chocolate um, display area in my kitchen, um, it looks really nice. I love that little station. I'll leave the link below for you. A tray thing to match as well. Mm. Oh, these are quite handy. Mm. Little ones. It reminds me we need to get more. I like those. Toys. Oh, I like this as well. I love that. Can you imagine that on display in a kitchen? What, the love yeah, thing? that looks so nice. I really like that. I found the Mickey cups on display. Some nice tablecloths oh, no. here. Oh, they're not our colours though. gonna buy some hand towels and these little flannels but we're not using them for flannels I'll tell you about it later do you like the clouds it's 17 pounds so there's no other lights in here you like the look of or no like the look of. do you like the clouds just looking at the rugs more over there as well. rugs tend to be really good prices here I also did a really good DIY using a map and these little cheapy clocks, so I'll link that up below for you as well. It's just spotted this really cute idea for a world map, and then you can hang your photos around the outside. It's a bit glary, I really love that idea. Right, these are what we after the picture ledges. Just picked up a selection of photo frames as well. These ones are really good, 75p for four by sixes. Yeah, I'm not so keen no, on those with the, the stands. Shelves, yeah, on the shelves they look quite nice. See them. Yeah, I'm not so keen on that. Little bit there. And now for my favourite bit. I wonder if we'll find any bargains today. Do you like that? For what? Our room. No. No. On a simple rose. No bargains for us. We're gonna check out. We've got a few bits and pieces in our trolley and then I'm hoping to find a dime cake. £64.50 and we're gonna have a quick look at the food and I'll show you what we bought a bit later. This is what I've been after, Aid. Here's the um, dime cake. There's also an ice cream. 3.25 for the ice cream. This is what I'm after. 2.95. These, however, are really good, aren't they? Really nice. These cookies are really good. So we got some treats. It's getting really, really busy in there. I'm so glad we got here for opening. Um, we are heading to McDonald's. I really don't like the breakfast in Ikea. I'm really not a fan. Um, and it was busy in there and it just feels so canteen-y. No, 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 no. We'd left the light on in the car whilst we were shopping. We were really worried we'd have a flat battery. But it looks fine. You're relieved. <laughs> it was a bit of a worry. It's really busy. We've already got somebody waiting for our space. I'm so glad we got here before opening. Um, I'm so relieved that the car started. It's not the first time that we've done that before. <laughs> we do have a starter in the car for that reason. We are heading, there's a McDonald's next door. We're gonna get drive-through. Just wa ru dr uh, waving to the drive-through as we went the wrong way. Maybe something's telling us, Aid, that we shouldn't be getting a McDonald's. Nope. No. Nope. It's all fine. You're determined. Yes, yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, what drinks would you like, sorry? Coke. Yes, please. Uh, two Cokes, please. Two Cokes, both two Cokes. Oh. Thank uh, you. Two of coke. Anything else? This is such a treat. We never do this, do we? Nope. This is Aid's favourite. And we both got Big Mac meal. Are you happy? Very happy, Does yes. this feel like a nice treat for unexpected. the end of the year? It was very unexpected. Yeah, very much so. You can't see. So we're home from Ikea. I've got a bit of a headache, so I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what we bought. And I don't know why 
I have a burger. I very rarely eat them, or when I do, I always feel gross afterwards. Um, so we picked up two of these. We've got a few of these in the house now. Um, this was nine pounds for the longer one. The shorter ones are five. They come in white and black. I will leave a link below. Um, do you remember when we were in Ikea and I saw those clocks and I said that I will share a DIY that I've done using one of those. We've actually made like a little Disney shelving area in our lounge and we used some of the smaller ones of this. So I'll, that's all in one video. So that link is below and there's various other Ikea DIYs as well. And we also made um, an area for our coffee mugs in there. I never actually filmed that because I don't feel it's properly finished yet. But as well, I was saying, I we're thinking about redoing our kitchen. That was one of the reasons for going today. I want some ideas. We've picked up a catalog and taken lots of photos. And I think we're gonna measure up and speak to somebody about designing and just to get a, an idea of cost so we can see. Have any of you had an IKEA kitchen done before? Let me know if you'd recommend or any tips, but we're in the very, very early stages of planning and we do want to remove a wall in the kitchen. So it's not something we can easily do. There's going to be money involved, planning involved. So it may be something that takes a couple of years, but we just want to start looking into it now. If you also have any other kitchen recommendations for fitters or places you've bought kitchens, I would also really, really appreciate any hints or tips or any suggestions, anything like that. We've remembered the tea lights today. How could we forget them last time? Three pounds for 100. So we have two packs of those as we get through quite a lot in our house. I also did pick up the paper light. This, we were saying this reminds us of like the 80s with our parents. I'm thinking about painting it. I might do some kind of design on it. I fancy doing something, but this is for our bedroom. We have a really pretty starlight, loads of little stars from Next, and it's blown twice. And um, I think it's like an adapter or I don't know, but it's just not working in our bedroom. We need to go back to the traditional light. Um, we're gonna get a dimmer switch, I think, and add that, but I want something really quite light. Um, got a couple of packs of the containers, three, Holly at uni, she seems to have lost hers, so we've picked her up one set, and we've got another, I am going to be doing a big kitchen declutter, I had hoped to get that done before Christmas, it wasn't done, and if you saw my New Year's video the other day with all my goals and plans for 2020, I did mention it in there, I'll link that video up below as well if you missed it, and... I will be getting back into my Motivational Monday videos again and every week there is going to be some kind of decluttering, cleaning session, something like that coming up each week. We've replaced these, we have these from Ikea already, they're four pounds, Aid burnt them the other day, he managed to burn the ends. So we've picked up new ones, bought some plastic bags from Ikea, we do reuse these, we use them when we travel and I keep them then in the suitcases for next time, just in case of any leakages with shampoos, body lotions gels that type of thing but we do reuse them a lot um but we just needed a few more because we've been sharing them with holly as well at uni um various picture frames i'll pop those to one side we also use our plain white crockery comes from ikea and what i love about that i've got some four plates here as well we've got three chipped at the moment and some have are quite old and they've got like scratches on the plates so we've got four replacements today one pound fifty each we only have four bowls at the moment and one is slightly smaller and i wanted a matching set of six as we've had a couple of breakages as well and i think these were i think about 150 175 each as well so what i love about that if you do have a breakage you don't have a mismatch set or you don't have to rebuy another set it's just easy to go and pick up another one or two to make up your set again now, I've had a bit of a problem for a very long time with regards to oven gloves. I'm really small, I have very small hands, I can't use oven gloves. I just have too much fabric to be able to take anything carefully or safely out of the oven. My hands are just too small and you can't find kids oven gloves. I don't like the little silicone ones because I still feel they're too small. I always use tea towels and I double them up but you end up with food on tea towels, stained because it's in and out the oven. And I've been trying to think of something, I've got like pot holders, but again, I just don't have the enough space to be able to carefully do it. So I'm going to give flannels a go. They're thicker than tea towels. And I'm just thinking I can easily fold them over. I really like these with the design. 
Um, and I'm wondering if these will actually work better. What I really like, they were only 150 each, or they may have even been one pound actually. They've got little hooks. So I'm going to put some 3M hooks inside the kitchen cupboard next to the oven. So they're always easily found. And I was thinking these will probably wash up better than tea towels because it's just ruining my tea towels. Um, these will probably, they, you don't notice the marks so much, but also I'm thinking they should wash up really well. Love the design so much. I've actually bought a new towel for the downstairs loo. I have a really cute towel. It's gray with clouds and it's just so marked now. So it's time for a replacement. I shall put that one in the fabric recycle bin and replace it with this one. It matches. I like the little trim, five pounds, and it's got the little hook on as well. And that will go really nice in the downstairs bathroom. I bought some squidgies for the shower, one for the kids and one for ours. Ours is a rounded, we've got like a big corner shower in our bathroom. Um, so I'm not sure, sure how that will work, but I thought we'd give them a go and they're 75p each. I also picked up a little pot. I did a Valentine's do-over in my kitchen last year and I'll be doing the same again. I won't bother videoing it because I did a video last year. So if you're interested, I'll link that up below. And it's when I first did my coffee station as well, which I mentioned before. And I'm going to use one of the little pots this year, the little heart pot. I think they're really cute and I think this was about a pound. And can you see there's a little heart on the front there. I do love Ikea for cute plant pots. You could also use it as a pen pot as well. I'd look really sweet. And then I bought a selection of picture frames. I'm going to be doing something in Louis's room. The large picture shelf things are for Louis's room. We started his room last year, do you remember? I haven't actually ever finished it. It needs painting and a few other things and we never got the desk either. So whenever we went, there was always a part that was out of stock in Ikea. So this year I really want to get that done, but I thought, various different frames ikea is so good for frames these were only 75p these ones and i think these were i think one pound fifty and i did get the larger one with the mount for i think this one was six pounds and what i'm going to do louis has a bit of a new york theme going on in his room he took some really good photos when we were last in new york and I want to blow up some of his photos and actually frame them. I think that will look really, really nice. Rather than going and buying other artwork, I want to use his. And he's also got loads of photos of him and his friends in his room, but they're all like ride photos and things from Thorpe Park and they're just photos on their own. So I want to frame them for him. And then we bought treats. We bought the cinnamon rolls. Louis loves these. They're £1.75, I think also picked up the dime sweets and that dime cake as well it's actually in the freezer at the moment it only takes 20 minutes to defrost but i think that is everything now i am going to be doing a bedroom makeover i'm doing it as a surprise for holly while she's away she's away in nottingham or derby no she's in not near nottingham at the moment with her boyfriend where he lives for new year so i am going to be surprising with a bedroom makeover so look out for that coming up on my channel very soon and like i said my motivational mondays will be coming back with all the decluttering and all those kind of videos so if you like that kind of thing please do subscribe to my channel the link is below and it's free to subscribe you just get notified when the videos go up and you can also follow me on instagram i'm the funky fairy for my personal account all the home stuff cooking baking disney all that and lollipop box club is my creative business account where i share anything creative really hope you've enjoyed this let me know when was your last trip to ikea and also about the kitchen suggestions as well i'd really really appreciate any hints tips recommendations that kind of thing Thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.